that's the only way to live. Yeah, I can show you what it is. Yeah, I can show you what it is. Hey, I can show you what it is. I've been on the wallet, that's the only Yo, what's going on? My name is Kieran, and welcome back to Kieran's Vision. And today, I am going to be going through a quick and easy tutorial on how I made the Flower Boy uh, concept sort of vinyl cover that I did. So, we're gonna go jump straight in um, by just pasting in the background that I made for it. So, um, what it is, it's literally I just typed in um, Sunflower. HD or something like that on Google um, and just grab this um, nice it's just like a nice I quite like the colors it's a nice contrast between the dark and the brightness of the uh, sunflower itself so I thought it would be quite nice just to because the original cover itself is pretty crazy um, I absolutely love, love 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 the original cover it's it's wild like <laughs> the amount of detail that's in that is pretty nuts so i just thought i'd tone it down a little bit and just make it a bit more minimalistic um with that's the sort of approach that i made with this with this cover anyway so and then what i'm going to do is just go ahead and type in flower boy um that's a different font what that's the one i used so here we found the font it's manchester signature if you want to download the font it's like a nice it's a super um clean sort of script font handwritten sort of looking font so i'm just going to put the size up on that a little bit and just center it to whack it there sound and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and find a b image um that, we can, that i used so i'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that like so and then we're just gonna drag it down to like I think it's probably about like here I think just drag it down to like there or so and then what I'm gonna go and do I'm just gonna go ahead and whack um, my sort of teal and orange filter over it um, just to sort of like blend the colors together a little bit more and give it a bit more of a contrast and uh, sort of orange up the um, or warm it up a little bit as well should I say so with this it, it looks like a nice clean cover as it is but um what i wanted to do i wanted to sort of uh i wanted to sort of play around with a vinyl sort of cover so what i did i found this overlay right here so this one right here so then when i all i need to do is just sort of make it central sort of at least and then click select and then change when i change the blending mode of this layer to screen it sort of like adds the overlay to the cover to sort of make it look like it's got a disc inside it like an imprint sort of it just gives the cover a little bit of texture so basically this is what the finished sort of cover looks like um other than the fact that my badge isn't on there and other than the fact i've not put parental advisor on there yet um but that is basically the finished cover um but then obviously i go in to get a vinyl that we're gonna like a vinyl disc that we're gonna sort of customize and then add into like the same post and then that's what what i posted on instagram um so um what i'm gonna go ahead and do is just open uh, a black market um sort of file that i quite like because i quite like using this sticker so if i copy and paste this layer um pull it into this um i'll probably put this behind here as well but then for now i'm just gonna get rid of that overlay uh, I'm just going to whack this central at the bottom, probably make it a little bit bigger, um, tilt it a tiny bit, just like so. And then what I'm going to do is go into the smart object layer, um, just by clicking on that, taking off adjustments, and then get rid of that. I'm going to change the base color to a similar sort of yellowy, since it's under the um the filter it'll change to like an orangey color to fit with the rest of the uh sort of colors as well so what we're going to go ahead and do is use the one of my favorite fonts if you have ever seen me use it <laughs> it is called babe ass new it's such a sick font um i'm going to just turn the oh i'm just going to take it take it down a little notch and then type in parental and then put that center make it a little bit bigger at the top pull it down a bit and then i'm going to type here advisory 
like so and a little bit bigger put that towards the bottom center it put that there um, just a tiny bit bigger and then make this one a little bit bigger as well Whoop. and then what we're going to go ahead and do is put in a sort of script font I think I might use the different one though because it's not really visible as much the other one that I use for the um, actual one that I posted to do is just make that white and then go ahead and put it to backlash I think so we'll just use this for now and then we'll just whack that in the center there like that so I quite like using this it's like just a nice custom parental advisor sticker that I quite like just doing so then when we save that layer um, and we can close out of that uh, as you can see it's sort of um, it's sort of there now like the things actually saved and the colors are matching sort of They've actually done a decent job of that to be honest um, and then what we're going to go ahead and do is just quickly add a, a tiny drop shadow just take the oh pass this down a tiny bit and put it to about 116 yeah just, just to give the sticker a little bit of depth but yeah so this is pretty much the finished cover um, and then obviously add this layer over it and then what I'm going to go ahead and do is add a layer um, go paintbrush and just go bump there we go so that is the finished cover for flower boy that I did I didn't want to sort of include anything else on the cover other than that um, I just felt that uh, the less is more um, with this one. I'm going to go ahead and open a new uh, document so we can start on the disc customization. This um, sort of vinyl disc PNG sort of layer here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this one above. Um, I'll drag them all above it actually. Um, I'm just going to shrink this layer to sort of fill this um, a, little bit, a little bit more um, so you can actually see the sort of what's going on. Post about there. And then I'm going to have the B as well. Make that smaller to go in conjunction with the size of it as well. Make sure that's on there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and type in flower boy. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and select the red circle in the middle. On this, select inverse, bam, bam, bam. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a quick stroke, just like so. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is select all of these, duplicate them uh, like so and then what I'm going to do is with the duplicates I'm just going to go ahead and merge them all just to make the disc and then I'm going to go ahead and close all of them and then now what we have is a disc um, and then all I need to do now is add a at the background which is like a very very fine grey um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead where's the fill bucket there we go fill bucket bam bam I'm gonna put this off to the side a little bit and then I'm gonna spin it around so you can see the text and then I'm gonna go ahead oh cancel and I'm gonna go ahead and merge this group so that's the cover copy and paste that into this, have that coming out half, and then I'll probably spin it around a little bit more actually. Have it coming out about there, and then I can select both of these, make them a tad bit smaller, put them in the middle, and then at the top, just type in flower boy again, like so. Make the text grayish, and turn it up. And then final touch is, as you know, the good old stamp. And then we can just line there. Perfect. Sweet. So that is a tutorial on how I did the Flower Boy concept cover. Um, it's pretty simple. It's um, it's not really anything special but it just looks, the way it looks and the way obviously it just appeals to the eye with uh, how everything just looks and how it just looks together. 
I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Obviously, I've posted a lot more since um, I've uploaded this one. So if you guys want to check out the, um, my recent ones, then go ahead and click the link down in the description. Um, also, if you haven't already, then please subscribe as these are going. I'm going to try at least um, to get these videos out weekly. Um, but I'm just a little bit busy at the moment. I think in the next couple of months or so, I'll probably start um, pre-recording quite a few and just churning them out every week um, or like something like that anyway. But yeah, so that's been it this time. Um, hope you guys enjoyed uh, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.